first thing we're going to do is turn it on. You'll see this goes on there. And, and the next thing you want to do is select one, two, or three devices. So I'm going to set it up on three. And this is a second generation iPad. If it connects to this, it'd be pretty good. Okay, we're going to open up Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Okay, it's not there, so we're going to go ahead and connect it. Press and hold. The blue light comes on. And you should see it. There we go. It's, once you see that, you can let it go. And it's got it. The keyboard K480. Select it. Make sure you select it. And then it'll go up in My Devices. And now we're going to make sure it actually writes. Okay. And it works perfectly. You got all your key functions, the arrow functions. Locks. Delete. Tab. So I would say this is pretty nice. Let me see if it does the. Ah, and it has some of the Windows selections with um, Alt Tab for your programs, which is very nice. So it works really well. Uh. So it doesn't fit this way. Well, you could, but it does fit this way. I think will be okay for me. Okay, I'm gonna hook it up now. Um, it's a Bluetooth, so I'm gonna go into my settings. Bluetooth. And connect. It's lighting up. Oh, and it's detecting it. There we go. Bluetooth. Okay, my keyboard's there. It says it's connected. Okay, it looks like everything's go, so let's see. That's pretty good. And you can use this with your iPhone or your iPad or Android or anything you want. So I thought it'd be a nice keyboard I could carry around and use it with my iPad and my iPhone. Let's see, I guess it's got a little bit of a lip there. You can see it's a little bit underneath. It's, it's pretty hefty.